All right, after some significant fishing, we are here and we have voice logs ready. So, take a listen to these egg memos now that we have them. Some force is keeping me from exiting cyberspace. Is it because my AI made unauthorized access to the databases? If so, that's the exact opposite of what it was supposed to do. Mhm. Mm of course, things going wrong for Eggman. That gun military craft doing in here. Sage just helped me avoid the worst of it and it doesn't appear to be manned. Is it a defense mechanism? I need to learn more. Okay, I will say it's one weird thing to me about this game is I get Sonic's tone being a bit deeper. Or Roger having a bit of a deeper tone for uh, for Sonic, which I'm fine with. A more natural tone, I think. It, it, I think it's the best Sonic voice he's done since he started. But, I don't know, it sounds really weird having Eggman, who's always been eccentric, be this kind of toned down. The terrain here keeps shifting. I'm finding recreations of regions from South Island, West Side Island, even Angel Island. Where is this environmental data coming from? Aha, they mentioned South Island and West Side Island. Woohoo! We're getting into some deep lore, Ian Flynn. You're, uh, playing dangerous games. <laughs> I found elements from my own Eggnet, the United Federation, even Planet Donpa Kingdom race data. As best as I can surmise, this cyberspace extends well beyond the scope of these islands and is gaining information from around the world. Fascinating. You bring in fucking TSR, Team Sonic Racing lore into this. God damn it. I love it. I am officially jealous. This entire expanse was constructed by the ancient race who have previously settled on these islands. The level of technology they employ is completely alien to me, so I can't salvage it. Yet. It appears the Starfall Islands act as the CPU for cyberspace. Once I'm out of here, I need to secure them at all costs. I'm not able to access the data too readily, but it appears the entire history of the ancients is recorded here in cyberspace. More than that, they logged their memories, their desires. It's almost like they encoded their very souls into this place. Now then, how can I use that to my benefit? Who were the ancients? They predate any civilization by a wide margin. The echidnas? The black arms? Please. The Babylonians? <laughs> Hardly. And yet they didn't seem to influence the world beyond these three piddly islands. Why? What stopped them from conquering the world? Oh, that's very nice. And predate any civilization. You bring up echidnas, black arms, and Babylonians. Mm-mm. That's, that's delicious. That's very delicious right there. I'm finding multiple connections between the ancients and the Chaos Emeralds. Their technology seems built with the emeralds in mind. It's almost like they share the same origin. I enjoy a good mystery. Not when the answers are more mysteries. Ah. <laughs> the ancients seem to have employed a set of strange icons as keepsakes or totems. That same imagery is being used by the Coco running around the islands. Did the Coco inspire the ancients? Or did the Coco adopt the leftovers once the ancients were gone? Hmm. Something wiped out the ancients, that's for certain. A catastrophic event caused dire environmental shifts across the islands. It appears they made some effort to rebuild, but they were living on borrowed time. They died out within a generation. Oh, that's sad. I don't believe this. I had Sage run a diagnostic on the recorded genetic data of the ancients, and then against archives I have with me. They are relatives of Chaos, the god of destruction. After countless years, their DNA corroded to the point they were completely transformed into a new species. Some kind of radiation affected them for eons, making them unrecognizable. Except to a genius like me. Oh, we're getting chaos lore. Ho, ho, ho. Yes. Oh, that's... Mm. Genetic data. That's the archives I have with me. 
See, when I first saw them in the cutscenes, I figured that they probably had something to do with with the mutation that Chaos had, or the Chow Chaos was, had undergone to become how he was. It makes so much sense, and I noticed little things too, like, there's been an emphasis, at least in the past two bosses, of the Chaos Emeralds being on their heads in very eerily similar places to where the brain was on perfect chaos. So, that kind of tipped me off, and the fact that, you know, they look like water amalgamation-like creatures, they share very similar shapes. And I figured that they, they probably would share some something to do with the genetic mutation. So, that's very cool. Would that mean that the Echidna tried to fuck around? No. No, apparently, it seems like the only bit of technology that they had was what Knuckles had discovered on Angel Island. I don't think anything happened like that had to do with the Chow, but if, but probably in some way the Emeralds reacted due to the shared origin, it probably was what caused that mutation that made Chaos. Is what I would gather from it. It's really cool though. I, I love backstory. Because the Emeralds have been a mystery for so long. About origin. Stuff like that. So it, it's cool to get like. Even the smallest bit of a civilization. That predates even the Echidnas. And the Black Arms and Babylonians. That would have at least. Some origin for the Emeralds. Not necessarily exactly how they were like crafted or like where they're from but would explain it because if I, if I remember correctly the shrine on angel island actually didn't really belong to anybody it was more the chow the echidnas pretty much tried taking it over for its power to subdue other tribes in the mystic ruins before, you know, Chaos murdered everyone and then Takal decided to split it off of the Mystic Ruins and throw it into the sky. Very cool to me. Very cool. I'm deploying my most advanced artificial intelligence into the ancient network spanning the Starfall Islands. I've codenamed it Sage. Sage will take over the alien network take control of all its resources and give them to me. Ah! One sound out of here. It looked like he was trying to start to laugh and then he just realized. Sage is performing at peak efficiency. Makes me wonder where I went wrong with Orbot and Cubot. Not only is she taking control of the Ancients Network, but she's harassing Sonic as well. I love it! Despite her best efforts, Sage can't seem to control the Titans. Phooey. She can prompt them to act, but something is blocking her from assuming total control. Sage keeps running the numbers by me, and it's getting tedious. Yes, the power that wiped out the Ancients was formidable. Yes, unleashing it on this world would be catastrophic. But I'm a genius! Once I'm out of here, I'll find a way to handle it. Better yet, weaponize it against Sonic. Sage has been crucial to my survival here in cyberspace. Early warnings of hostile entities, guiding me past firewalls, keeping me updated on progress in the real world. She, she's the best. She, it, it, it's a program. An adorable program, a very personable program. A, a uh, I wonder if she has a preference. <laughs> Eggman. What I hope is the next game they improve upon what they have in this game, bigger islands, and maybe incorporate the giant rings in a special stages like with cyberspace. Yeah, I, I remember reading somewhere in an interview, I think, that how this game was received would pretty much uh, determine how Sonic games would be forward for the next decade. And I hope with the success and the love that Sonic Team's been getting with, with this title, that they continue to make it even better. Don't do like what Lost World did. And make something very interesting and, and kind of cool and then just ditch it afterward. If they make games like this and keep making it better, and for God's sake, Sega, Sonic Team, please let 
Flynn continue to write the stories for these games from now on. It will, I think, I think the future is looking very, very bright for, for these games and for this, and for this franchise again. This is a breath of fresh air. They, to me, it's got its problems, but otherwise they knocked it out of the park. It was, it's so far, it's, it's great. They're treating every boss so far like it's a final boss. Like, if people thought that the perfect Dark Gaia fight was really cool, all these supersonic fights so far, even the regular mini boss fights, have been demolishing what that Dark Gaia fight was. It's it's what I've always wanted from that Dark Gaia fight. Because my my Dark Gaia fight that I've always wanted was flying around as supersonic and actually fighting against Dark Gaia. Not, you know, QTE knocking him, not the punch out with Gaia Colossus, not, you know, knocking each eye, but having actual combat with him. This game is doing it. You're flying as around as supersonic. You're actually beating the fuck out of these enemies and you're kicking their ass and you have some incredible, some really good rock playing in the background for it. God, it's so good. It can say this as a small team. Yeah, a small team that had five years to work on it. Because I, I, I read something the other day that they started this development like right after Forces. Like Forces came out 2017. I was reading that they started this in 2018. Like they jumped from Forces to this. And then started just started running with it five years and a team with clearly a pat still a passion for this franchise and having the time to do what they wanted with it oh my god it's so good i think it was a breath of fresh air for them and i think it was a breath of fresh air for the audience it's so good i never really knew my cousin maria everyone spoke of her like she was very special that love for someone who was gone when I was right there. But I have to wonder, back then, was she anything like Sage is now? Oh my god, they bring up Maria too, and Eggman actually acknowledging her as his cousin. Like, everyone knew it. Everyone knows it. If, if, Ger if Gerald's his grandfather, if that's Maria's grand- Of course it's his cousin. But him saying it. I love it. <clears throat> I love it. Sage told the funniest joke during her report. How fast can Sonic screw things up? Instantly, he's the fastest thing alive. I tell you, she's a chip off the old block. Well, for a program, I mean. It's not like she's alive. Or family, or... Who says I can't create life, huh? Just a bunch of proteins bumping together, anyone can do that. A true genius does it with code and electrons. And if I did create life, she would be brilliant and loyal and perfectly effective. And you know why? Because her dad is a genius, that's why. I love Eggman so much. Sonic's on the island. Of course Sonic is on the island. I can't remember the last time I had a good night scheme without him ruining it. Still, for a purely organic creature, obtaining Mach 1 of his own volition is impressive. I'm man enough to admit that. Mach 1. Huh. <laughs> Only Mach 1, Eggman? Come on. Hey, Kaiser, what's going on? It's Sonic who named me Eggman. Except the joke's on him. I embraced the name. I made it my own. His mockery is now a name feared across the ages. I'm not going to adopt Baldy McNose here, though. My uh, dignity there is enough. <laughs> Eggman, you are a treasure and a gem. I l you're a beautiful creature. It appears Amy Rose has been dragged into the mix. Clever girl. Tenacious. She's come a long way since being an easy pawn in my schemes to ensnare Sonic. It seems like she had some trouble finding herself. But when you hang around with someone with as big an ego as Sonic, self-identification has to be a challenge. Knuckles is here too. <laughs> what a rube. 
That hair trigger of his is a problem, but also a boon when I can get him to go off in the right direction. Wait, if he's here, that means the Master Emerald is unguarded. Its power will be mine! Oh, no, wait. I'm stuck here. Fool. <laughs> Sonic's here, so it's no surprise Tails is too. It's a pity. Young Prower has a keen mind and loads of potential. Yet he's fixated on worshipping Sonic. And again, maybe that's for the best. Given all the trouble he gave me in Station Square and on the Ark, I think I'd prefer him wasting his potential lingering in Sonic's shadow. <laughs> Sonic's here. Very nice. Bringing up the Ark and all that is, is very cool. I like it. Return to the Island. Thank you. Uh, how far am I now, John? Uh, on both my Switch and on my PC, I am on the third island. Of course, I'm further on my PC now, but... But yeah, I'm on... I just got to the third island on my Switch, and I've just been very slowly playing it around at work. Alrighty, so... I'm here. Let's go to an Elder Coco. And... Go to Hermit. Yep. Give me the seed. Or I'll give you the seed, rather. 36. Very nice. Uh, no thanks. I am good. I appreciate it. Can I look at my... There we go. So now we'll fast travel over to... Going for 100% each island? Yes. I've actually 100%ed uh, every island so far. Granted, you know, that's not... You know. Uh, increase speed or ring capacity? I want to go fast. I don't really need these tokens. Okay, so... Where is the next area? Okay, so I need to get that. But I don't know how to take that bridge down. So I guess my next objective is to get to this guy. Well, I got to the red emerald. So I'd be able to get back to it, right? Oh, well. We'll go to this guy. Hey, a big new voice in this game? Uh, is it a new voice? It's still not Kyle A. Bear? Look at that fucking... Okay, I, I just got a nerd about that. A giant fucking death egg robot from... From forces just chilling here on the island. Why? I don't know. Is it cool as shit? Yeah. Is this thing fucking massive? Absolutely. God, it's beautiful. Can I jump on it? Let me jump on you. Holy shit. No. Let me get up you. I... I demand. Yes. Yes. That's good. That's v Oh, fuck. I was not supposed to do it that way, but I did. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, if it's still Kyle A. Bear, then. You know, I figured he would, you know. Sounds fine. Sounds good. Sounds like he did in colors on the DS. I don't think he's actually voiced Big Sen- No, he's been in, uh, the racing games. That's right. Oh, fuck. Okay. So I gotta go down over there. Make my way there. That's very nice of you, Sonic Team. Thank you for allowing me. To homing, to not homing attack. To light speed dash every single ring I see fit. I need it. After a myriad of failed attempts. Oh, I see. Fuck, man. Uh, 
Oh, we're going back to the basics. Run. Oh, who? Who, who, lad? Who, who, lad? Sonic, uh, Sonic Cha Cha real smooth right there. I don't think I like that. <laughs> Okay, so now I should be able to get there for, through here, right? Ah. You. I challenge you. Aha. You fool. I have 300 alternate accounts. I also like how everything just feels like a mini level. Okay, so I need to head over this way. So that should lead me. Oh, so I gotta go over there. How do I get there? Hmm. To go to that one? Somehow get over there, or what? I can't... How'd I get there before? Is it here? It might be here. Three, one. Let's go there first. Go over to this Coco. And we'll head on now to some actual stages, I guess. Pardon? Excuse you? Someone's trying to beam me. I appreciate that. Hello. In we go. I insert it straight into your ass. Okay. What, uh, 20 rings, all red star rings. Okay. Nothing, so nothing too terrible. What do we got? <clears throat> okay. Matrix, thanks for the raid. How's it going, bud? Apex Seal Kadoom in the house. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, man. This takes me back. Ooh. Ooh. Spooky, yes. Holy fuck. I didn't like that 20 years ago and I don't like it now. <laughs> beat it Frontiers. Oh, very cool. You beat it on hard mode, right? Ooh. If you didn't beat it on hard mode, you're a fraud. Okay, cool. So you got the true ending and everything. And fought the true final boss. Holy fuck! I didn't like this shit 20 years ago. I don't like it now. Probably did not get the time for that, but... John Wick is streaming Sonic Odyssey? How in the shit did I get everything on the first try?
No, I didn't want to try again. No, fuck you. Fuck you. I did not want to try again. That's nice. That was like an Adventure 2 stage in in the game. That, that was very good. I liked that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Number two is going to be... It was up here, wasn't it? Three, no, it's three, three. Three, two is here. So a lot of these stages reminds me of Generations. Yeah, it looks like they took a lot of inspiration, or, like, I shouldn't say inspiration. It feels like they reused a lot of uh, Generations level design. But so every now and again, I see something where I'm like, hmm, that's a, that's a very spicy Adventure 2 right there. Or a very, you know... Oh, fuck. Okay. Well. Pulse that, Kirby. I'll order three, two, then. No, fuck you. Oh, hi. Hello. That's not ominous at all. Hi. Oh, Sonic's got no comment for that. Good, I guess. Oh, thanks. Snonk. So I punched the air instead of homing attack. Hello, access point. I enter. I insert. I dominate. S rank 30 rings. That is no way to fight these bosses again. Yeah. On my Switch, I started just making a save file before I fought every boss. I, I started making a save file before each of the bosses, so. Oh, hello. Oh man, Green Hill sure is looking a lot like Sand Hill right now. Ah! I wasted a shit ton of time on that boy. Oh, hi. Fuck. No, I'm stupid. Wait, no. Yes, I'm a genius. Okay, what the fuck was the point of that then? Just for rings? Hi. Hello. Oh, oh, phew. That spooked the fuck out of me. No, I saw that red ring. Hello. Hi. Come back to me. Hello. No. No, fuck you. I saw that. No, no. Why did it automate me going forward? No. God damn you. I guess I have to replay this one multiple times, huh? Eh. Eh. Go back up. Go back up. Oh, I can't go up there. Oh, sadness. Yoink. Ah, not the speaker button. Oop. Why are you upsetting? Don't be upsetty, spaghetti seal kadoom. That was a red ring right there, you cock munching. Piece of fuck. Okay. Uh, what's the time? 120? Not bad. Okay, I can do that. There we go. If I wasn't stupid, I would have had that before, but... Okay. Vault keys, emerald. So the next one I have is this guy. 
That guy's gonna be over this way. Oop. Come on. Land on Sonic. Fuck. What? Get me on there. How? What the fuck, bro? Stop. Oh, I thought. There we go. X. Twenty five S rank red star. Okay. Oh. Very nice. Well, this looks familiar, doesn't it? I honestly did not. I was gonna make. I see that red ring down there, fapping in the corner. Oh, very nice. Did not think I would see one of those here. That's right, light speed dash is a thing. Nope. Fuck you. Yeah, boy. The fuck? Oh. I thought they just dropped me off somewhere. Honestly. Ooh. It's a oh, I missed two of them? Fuck. I bet they were on those other pathways, too. Red ring, yep. Oh, what was it? 155? Okay, if I had boosted some other places, I could have gotten that. So I need to find two more red star rings? Yep. So I know where one is at. It's on that lower path. That is how you do it, people. Oh, man. Very nice. Uh, I need to check my clock real quick. How am I looking on... Okay. I got a little bit longer. Can go. About another 30 minutes-ish. What else we got? We got... I can, yeah, I got fast travel place I can go. Yeah, I kind of wish there were a bit more upgrades you could get for your skills. That'd be really cool, but, you know. Maybe next time. S rank, 30 rings, red star rings. Okay. Let's get this going. 
Oh good, what is this? Oh. Fuck are those? Okay. We're getting some unleashed bullshit in here now, it seems. I see a red ring. This is some unleashed bullshit right now. I don't like it. No! Fuck! God damn it! Fuck! Can I turn around? Turn, song, turn around. I'm, I'm getting that. You will not stop me. There we go. Back to our regularly scheduled program. How's oh, another one down there? One twenty. Hmm. I think we can shave off eight seconds. What do you think? Funny that I'm being those puzzles before I go to story and stages. Me too. I'm trying to complete like the entire uh, zone before I uh, before I uh, go start doing levels or story. No, not no, not try again. Fuck that. I already completed you. You're you're done. You're you're done, kid. Should not be that bad. He says. Before it's that bad. Oh. Hello. I don't believe we've met. I'm Snonk the Hearing. Oh shit. Why does does that happen? I want to do that again. Give it to me. Okay, never mind. Have a laser? That's not what I wanted. Oh god damn it. Die. Come here, little guys. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy intensifies. 90. Ooh, we're getting up there. Oh, this is nice. Okay. What the fuck? No, what the f Okay, well that doesn't seem to control very well.
Especially without a drift. Nope, stop. God, he turns so badly. What the fuck is this? This dog shit is what this is. Stop. No. I'm just gonna jump over those things every time, man. No. Fuck you. No, why did he turn around there? Jesus Christ. What do you want? Oh, a minute five? Okay. Fine. That's not good. I actually don't like that one. I find that one to be quite dog shit. Alright, it looked like there was a, a thing here. Is there one on this island? No, there's not. Okay. There's one. So... Are there any more? I got one more that I can get to at the moment, anyway. Is this all of them? Only five? Uh... S rank, 30 rings, all red stars. The usual. Mm. Oh, I'm in the level. Let me uh, restart that. I was taking a sip of agua. Oh, good. Okay, good. What the hell am I listening to? Very nice, that went down quite quickly. No! What? I missed that? Okay, sure. No, I shouldn't have done that. No, I kind of don't like... Oh, fuck me. This is some unleashed bullshit. There's a red ring over there in the distance. That's great. No, fuck. Fuck, man. Come on. Yeah, I don't like, well, I guess this is fine, but I never really liked the, the stages for Unleashed. 
like they're like this, so it's kind of eh to me. Oh fuck, come on, man. So five achievements for this game is maxing your stats through the Phantom Rush. Yeah. Yeah, I know that much. This is just kind of annoying. It's a pass for you? I mean, I'm gonna do it. I'm talking about this stage, honestly. I'm not enjoying the stage. What is the time for this one? Damn. Okay. I think I can do that. No, I pressed A on that one. Fuck. Man. Fuck. God damn it. I would have had that shit if it wasn't for that. God damn, he went right over the ring. Kidding me? Come on, man. Oh, come the fuck on, really? God fucking damn it, man. Are you fucking kidding me? Why did Sonic not make that jump? I hate this section. I thought I died there. No, fuck, god damn it, man. <sighs> no, I'm not doing that shit again. Fuck that. That that's that's going to be the only one that I'm not going to do. I guarantee you, that's going to be the only fucking stage I'm not going to get every mission on. Cuz it's one of those stupid fucking well, stupid fucking Unleashed style stages that I hate. I hate Unleashed style stages. They're my least favorite to do. And I hate to leave it on a note like that, but I have to sleep because I have work in the morning. So that's going to be a problem for another time.